radio. Mm. Like, I mean, I guess the same kind of person that listens to this kind of music is also probably going to listen to Lemon Demon, but they're not really thematically the same. You know what? I'm just going to go find a troll. That'll make this easier, right? Yeah. Exactly. And like, Touch Tone Telephone fucking slaps. It's a good song. It has very little to do with that. I'm gonna let Wait, you speaking of... Have you ever fucking listened to Touch Tone Telephone? I don't think I have. Like, you should. This is this is this is my first experience with particularly dumb songs. Like I like songs with a narrative, and then when I found out Be More Chill was a musical, I was like, huh. Why don't I listen to musicals since I like songs that have narratives in them? Mm. And that's the first time I ever really considered musicals as a uh, viable option. Oh, there's some good shit out there, man. Because originally I only heard um, this Prom Night song because I was listening to fucking Michael in the Bathroom, which... Oh my god, I love that song. It is so fucking retarded, but I love it. And I didn't even realize until earlier today when I was driving that it was a part of a musical, because I was like listening to the radio of it and other songs came on, and then one of the songs mentioned a guy named Michael, and I'm like, oh shit, that's a character. Yep. And that's how I sort of put it together, because my dumbass didn't catch on. <laughs> Have you listened to Be More Chill in Order yet? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay. I've heard some of it and was really confused. There was one where, like, there was, like, this no homo thing going on, I guess? But I've only listened to it, really? like, on shuffle with, with uh, okay. the radio. So Give I don't know minute. if that was I'm a part gonna... of Be More Chill or if it was part of something else. Okay. I mean... One of the characters, it's implied that he's gay, but, like, I don't think anything happens in the fucking songs. And one of the songs was, like, he was, like, it changed his life when, um, when his lips touched his friend's lips, and his friend's like, what? And he's like, I'm not gay and all, but, or whatever, uh, really enjoy it when our bodies touch each other or something like that. That's definitely not from Be More Chill. <laughs> something else. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't, like, it wasn't, like, a, like, a dirty song. It was just no, like, no. a weird song. Yeah, yeah, but like, now that I, I, I kind of know, be more chill. I, what's in that? I, I'll assume you know more than me since I literally only <laughs> heard songs like yeah. this like what, two days ago. <laughs> yeah, be more chill is about a Michael, a different Michael Sarah type who gets, uh, who who is super unpopular at school, and so he decides he he gets basically. He, this this bully guy, like, for some reason, takes pity on him and he's like, Hey, back in freshman year, I was also a fucking loser, just like how you're a fucking loser. And then I got this nano machine thing that you, like, you, you down it with Mountain Dew. And then, like, it just, like, tells you how to, like, be a popular person and live in a society, bottom text. And he's like, oh, shit. I, I want to be cool and popular in high school. But did he, like... like did he not drink it with Mountain Dew and then the nanobots fuck up or some shit? No, no. No, he drank it with Mountain Dew. Yeah, that's all part of the programming. See? See? W w do you want to walk you through the song? Or do you, or do you want to listen to it to get the experience on your own? God. Those are some real difficult options to consider. <laughs> you know what we should do? After we're done this recording, we should just listen to Be More Chill together. That would be <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. Fuck it. Why not? <laughs> it's hilarious, because the first song on that fucking musical is the Michael Cera type, and he wants to get a, a, he wants to jack off before he goes to school. Man, I don't think I was ever that horny when I was like <laughs> like I like I don't know maybe maybe that's a more common high school experience than others I gotta say my high school experience probably wasn't all that common I'm gonna say same <laughs> yeah but you 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 <laughs> Just you. 
<laughs> in many ways. In many ways. <laughs> God, this is going to take a long time. I couldn't find a troll. But, going back to Touchtone Telephone, first thing you gotta know, it's by the guy who did the Rowl Wild West remix that talks about how Loveless has a good behind. He got his behind looking damn good, though, if I can say it myself. Yep. Secondly, it's about... Yeah, the whole song of Touchtone Telephone is about this guy who's like calling up a person of unspecified gender and telling them their conspiracy theories because he is in love with them. <laughs> That's specific. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking weird. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna have to remove that. So yeah, like, Let's fucking break down these fucking implications later. Hell yeah. <laughs> like, the first analytical- like, this is- this is probably going to actually be the first analytical video that we actually do on this channel. Which, I mean, <laughs> fuck all the stuff we normally talk about. This song is adorable, so I wanna do some shit right <laughs> We just- we're gonna completely and totally break this song down. <laughs> Oof. Let's do this in such a way that we break this song down before this specific video of us saying we'll do it is gonna come out. So that way it'll already be up there. And people can just be like, man, that's crazy. Imagine. These mad lads oh. actually did it. <laughs> like, if we're actually gonna do that, man, like, we, we should, like, I, I could, like, write some shit down, like, some notes beforehand so we could, like, be, like, professionals and, like... I mean, that's what I intended on doing. I intend on, like, like, what, like, getting you into a call and we'll be, like, looking at the lyrics, discussing it, and trying to get up notes. That's what I yeah. intended on, like, if you want to do it <laughs> some different way. Oh, no. We, we can go, we're going to go full in, formal analysis. <laughs> what was the goal? What are the implications? Yes. How much does Tess rely on her computing versus emotions? <laughs> See, that's actually a reasonable thing to consider. <laughs> yeah. Alright, finally got some fine wood. This was a long process. I can build a portal soon. Alright, and you, going over here, and you're gonna go right over, yep, that's what I want to see. Do I have enough? I can build one portal with the amount of fine wood I have. This is such a weird... Wait, what the fuck am I even doing? Holy crap. Life is a mystery. Life is a never-ending show, my friend. Except the minor factor that it ends. That's one way to look at it. <laughs> it's Bojack Horseman. Oh, is it? Yeah. Damn. Did did you watch the last season? I watched all of it. I thought it was like okay, utterly crazy. That show depresses me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, 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 what I was just singing was from the you know the, the two times that the, the, what's her face and Sarah Lynn sing that song to him about how life is a never-ending show and you can't stop dancing till the curtains call. Gina. Gina, that's right. The one that he. Like, yeah. when he was hopped up on drugs, ended up strangling? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, that shit is depressing. I love yeah. it. Yeah. I love to feel depressed. 
that whole ending was actually really fucking well done where it's like you know he reached another turning point in his life he, this is a new chance for him to get his shit together but like you know diane's not gonna hang out with him anymore because like she's done with his shit neither but is like, his sister know, for that matter yeah exactly so like you know hopefully he gets his shit together this time but we don't know because the story's over <clears throat> i died uh okay. given the what, what, uh, shit, what is that word? Uh, English. Why have you failed me? Cyclical nature of his mental health. He finds himself doing better, and then doing worse, and then doing better, and then doing way worse, then doing better, yeah. and then doing even more worse. So it's like a lot of the times the show shows him going one step forward, two steps back. Ow! But it was it's interesting, though, know, because like the way he took Diane not wanting to be like in his life anymore was actually more mature than most of the ways he was handling the other shit that was going on in the series. So it's like you know maybe this is his turning point, but we'll never know because because it's ambiguous. It is over. <laughs> I like to think that it was just because you know you're optimistic, and human beings like happy endings. Exactly. I mean, that's not even a happy ending. Like, after all the shit that happened that he did and all that, nope, that's just more like a bittersweet ending. <laughs> yeah, but, like, that doesn't change the fact that humans like happy endings. Oh, yeah. I would prefer to think that eventually he gets his shit together and actually is able to reconcile with some of the people in his life, but ultimately it's not a matter of whether he gets his shit together, it's a matter of whether they're willing to reconcile because there were legitimate mistakes that he made. Yeah. That's why Diane stopped wanting to be in his life, man. She was just, she was done with it. <laughs> he fucking called her up and was like, damn, you didn't answer the phone? Guess I'll kill myself. Spoilers. <laughs> oh yeah, spoilers for the show that's been out for, like, finished for a year now, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I guess put a warning there. No. <laughs> My warning will stay until until after the at the crime has committed, and that will be it. Rest of fucking peace. It's it's a good series, or it's a good show, and good shows really don't need to have, be spoiler free to be good. You can watch it even knowing how it ends, and still get something out. At least that's the way I look. Uh, your mileage may vary on that particular <laughs> um, aspect yeah. of it, I guess. I mean, there are some shows where it's like, you know, they they, you, they obviously built it based around the, the twist, and it's like, man, now it doesn't work when I watch it again. Yeah. Cough. Heroes. Cough. What? There was a twist in Heroes? <laughs> I don't know, I watched only the first season didn't really go past that because I just didn't end up doing it. It's nothing against the show, I just didn't end up doing it. Honestly, you're better off not doing it. Remember the writer's strike that happened back in, like, I think 2008 or so? I don't know, time is not really too late. Yeah, but, like, basically, Heroes got hit really hard by that, like, the writers all struck because they wanted, like, you know, better wages, which makes sense, but then, like, Human you beings, know... yes. Yeah. And then, like, the, the, but because the, the networks were asses, they were just like, fuck you, we'll just get someone else to write these shows. And the people that got to write those shows were stupid, and they made dumb decisions. So like, there's a whole bunch of shows from that period in the late uh, aughts. Like, the, the, you'll be watching this really good show, and then like it just suddenly goes to shit, and you're like, wait, what the fuck's going on? It's like, oh, writer's strike, God damn it. Yeah. I wonder when the next writer's strike is going to happen. In an optimistic world, they will just get paid better. Ha ha. Ha 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 Yeah. Optimistic world. Let's see that shit actually happen. What is, what is that old China-Illinois quote, the world is a dick? Maybe. 
Yeah, I don't think I ever watched China, Illinois. I didn't either, <laughs> but it was on the commercials. Yeah. Okay. I actually thought it was China IL, which just shows how little China I ill. Exactly. Chill. Can I not? What's wrong? Is that? Oh, that's right. It's that. I forgot. Rest the fucking peace. There we go. Now I can walk up these steps. No problem. Now I have this here. I'll have to put a roof up here eventually. I can probably connect the roof to the tree, which will then make it a lot easier to stay up. But uh, we'll worry about that bridge when we burn to it. All right. Gonna fucking go to fuck to sleep. Gonna wake up in the morning feeling like P Diddy. No. Once again, you run at the head of your warriors, the weight of your father's axe in your hand. You wake with a war cry. Fucking wake up screaming, holy shit. Maybe that's how P. Diddy feels. Wake up in the morning screaming like P. Diddy. Grab my glasses, I'm out the door, I'm about to scream my head off. But before you leave, brush your teeth with a bottle of Jack. Because when you leave for the night, you ain't coming back. Yo, were the Percy Jackson movies a musical or no? They were not. Because I never saw them. But, like, I always assumed they were. No. They were based off of a book series. I, I read the books. I don't... Oh, oh, you did? Yeah. But then what? Why would you assume that they were a musical? It just seemed like the kind of series that would be turned into a musical. No. No, they were not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't have they to phrase it that way, but damn. <laughs> they also... The movies sucked ass. Just <laughs> there are many reasons why I'm very derisive when I'm talking about the movies. Mm -hmm. well, let me explain to you how bad the movies are. In the first movie, Hades was the bad guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you remember the first book? Yes. And now Hades wasn't the bad guy. He was like a minor character. Technically. Yeah. Yeah, like, 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 like. I'm sorry. I phrased that as if, I, I said that in upward inflection, as if it were a question. He was a minor character, and they go down to Hades, for, or to the underworld, to make it less confusing, just because they. Um, I don't remember why actually. Because they thought Hades was the villain, and then thought... it turns out that just like in Greek myth, Hades has always been a fucking chill dude. Yeah. Didn't wasn't there a. Okay, so I never really watched the movies, but I've seen outtakes of it. Like, cutscenes and stuff. Okay. Because... Because I know someone who has the DVD, I guess, is how you put that. Because I don't know why I said it that way, that's literally true. I know someone who has the DVD. <laughs> so... The, uh, so there was this one... Ow! Holy shit! So there was this one scene where, like, they're talking to Persephone. Oh, I can't block that. That makes sense. And it's implied that Hades has, like, trouble in the bedroom. There's no reason for this. There's no, there's no actual reason for this to be in the movie. It doesn't make any sense to make this joke. This joke didn't... This joke wouldn't have fucking worked in... What, what, like, how many years ago did this movie come out? Like, 78? Two? It came out in, like, the 2010s or so. Seems legit. So, like, this joke doesn't seem to fit. It just seems like a random insult to a kind of dickish character in the movie. At least that's how he's displayed from what I saw. He's the main villain. Is he actually just straight up the main villain? Not fucking, Yes! Not, no, not, not the actual guy who did the thing. No, no, Luke is working for Hades. And then what ends up happening is, in the second movie, they're like, oh shit, maybe we shouldn't have done that. And so then they try to, like, retroactively say, like, Luke is doing his shit with Kronos. And, like, all that shit. And they're, basically, they have to establish Kronos in the second movie while doing all the other shit that happens in the Sea of Monsters. And it's, you can imagine. I mean, really, the most surprising part of this conversation is that there was a second. I'm gonna let yeah, you, I'm gonna yeah, let yeah. <gasps> I thought you knew about the second movie, but yeah. 
<laughs> they shouldn't have got a second movie. They literally made the first movie as if there was not going to be a second movie because they literally changed the ending. <laughs>